How's it everyone? Welcome to another entry in my court checklist series right here on Open Court. So on these court checklist series, I like to talk about kind of off topic stuff related to tennis, not really strings and gear reviews specifically, but on today's court checklist, I wanted to talk about something that maybe some people out there do. I don't really get a whole lot of requests to talk about this, but I thought I should mention it anyway. So today's topic for the court checklist is pre-stretching strings. So what is pre-stretching? Maybe some of you guys have heard, but when you, when you uh, string tennis strings, tennis strings tend to lose tension pretty quickly, especially the stiffer polyesters. And what pre-stretching does is before you string the racket, you actually pull this and you stretch it out before you string the racket. So what does that do? Well, the pros of pre-stretching strings is that it actually gets rid of that initial tension loss that a lot of strings experience fresh off the stringer. So a lot of people don't know, but after you string the racket and you let it sit for about 24 hours or just even overnight, the strings typically lose about 10 to 15% of tension, even without any hitting at all. So if you string at 50 pounds and you leave it overnight, the, tr the chances are your racket's probably strung around 45 the next day without you even hitting a tennis ball. The pre-stretching process eliminates this initial tension loss and it allows the string to maintain tension over the duration of its life. So that's the biggest pro with pre-stretching and that's why most people do it. People who are ten sensitive. So that's the biggest pro to pre-stretching and that's the reason most people do it. Those who are very sensitive to tension loss will either pre-stretch or maybe use natural gut or something that holds tension very well. But pre-stretching also, as you can see, this is a, a loose string of uh, something but it's very very tangled and pre-stretching actually helps to get rid of this coil memory so that it becomes a lot easier to handle and a lot easier to string rackets and a lot of these shaped or twisted polyesters which this one is I think this is Whitex Quadro Twist but it gets rid of that coil memory and gets it a little bit easier to string so those are the pros of pre-stretching okay so what are the cons well there's one big con with pre-stretching which is since you're pre-stretching out the string to lose tension I'm sorry to mitigate that loss in tension it's actually gonna play a little bit stiffer because you're stretching out the string which means that you're making it less flexible and so when if you uh, have arm problems or you don't want to play with something that's really uncomfortable pre-stretching is not a good option for you but for those who have healthy arms like the stiffer setup are sensitive to tension loss can benefit from pre-stretching but for those who have sensitive elbows probably shouldn't pre-stretch and if you already love your string but you're uh, worried about the tension loss it experiences a lot of tension loss and you're thinking of pre-stretching just keep that in mind that it is going to play stiffer and it might hurt your arm it might affect the playability of the string as well common strings that are pre-stretched are the softer polys because they're soft enough to begin with so that when you stretch it it's not going to be as stiff or those rough strings like Alu Power Rough, for example, I always pre-stretch when I use that string because it loses tension very quickly and it's pretty soft to begin with so I don't really notice that stiffness but those are types of common types of strings that are pre-stretched. Natural Gut is also pre-stretched mostly because of the coil memory. Natural Gut holds tension very well but it really really holds tension almost perfectly if you do pre-stretch it but it's mostly to get rid of that coil memory so that when you string it it doesn't bend and kink. Once it does that, if a, if a natural gut bends like this, then that part is going to become very, very weak. It's not going to um, fix itself when you pull the string back, when you stretch it. So natural gut is pre-stretched to get rid of that coil memory, making it easier to string and less likely that you're going to snap it or kink it or screw it up. Okay, so how do you pre-stretch a string? Well, there's a few methods. You can wrap the string around a pole or some type of round object and then grab both ends of it, clamp it with a floating clamp or something, and then give it a nice tug for five to 10 seconds. You can repeat this as many times as you want to uh, get varying levels of pre-stretching. It's hard to gauge exactly how much you're pre-stretching by doing that though. If you have an electric stringing machine, there is a pre-stretch feature. Usually you can add, for example, 50 pounds with a 5% pre-stretch so that the string will actually stretch a little bit to 52 pounds first before returning to 50 and then you can clamp it off. Or if you have a stringer like this, the one behind me that uses a crank, you can use the double pull method, which is you put the stringer in, string in the grip, you pull tension, let it lock out, let it sit for a few seconds, release the lock without clamping it, and then put it back in the gripper and pull it one more time. So double pull and then clamp it off. 
this creates a lot of time that you need to string the racket, but that is one way you can string with the crank machine, the double pull method to pre-stretch. All right, so I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you guys are sensitive to tension loss and wanna give pre-stretching a try, give it a try. Just be wary because it does make it a little bit stiffer, so be careful. Always protect your arm, always protect your health. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you guys like this content and wanna see more videos like it, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button and I'll see you in an open court.